Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco, the creator of Approval Test, and today we're going to get started using Approval Test with the open source testing framework XUnit. So as you know, there's a lot of different testing frameworks for .NET, and XUnit is very different from the other ones. You'll see a lot of differences. The first difference you're going to see, though, is it doesn't come with out-of-the-box support for Visual Studio or with ReSharper. So what I'm going to do is use a plugin for ReSharper, which in of itself is a plugin for Visual Studio. And I had a bit of a trouble getting this to work, so I just wanted to go over how I got it to work in case you are having the same trouble on your side. Um, so I had to bring in the XUnit plugin, and here in Rome and JetBrains, Sharper 6.1, Visuals 2, I had to create a new folder called Plugins and just bring in the DLLs. I had problems when I included the PDB files. And then I had to select each one of them and go to Properties, and you can no longer see it but there was an unblock thing. I had to do that individually for each of them. I couldn't do them as a block. Once all that's running, if you come into your Visual Studio and go to Options, you'll see under Plugins that this is running here. And now we can sort of get started using the Visual Studio. So XUnit doesn't use a specific project type. So all we're gonna do is add a new project to our source and it's just gonna be a regular class library or DLL. And now that we have that in here, we have to go and add our references. So again, I'm just gonna use NuGet. Now that we have it in, all we have to do is add references to our project. So I'm gonna use NuGet again. We're gonna to go to the online and we're gonna do a search for XUnit. And install that. And then we're gonna go and do approval tests. And install that. Now you'll notice when you do approval test, there is also an approval test.x unit. This was for about a week or so when someone brought to my attention that I should be supporting an X unit and went ahead and did it himself, which is fantastic. But it was such a no brainer that it should be done that we instantly added it into the original package. So you no longer need to use it separate. So now that we've done this, you can see that there are three things have come in. First, the X unit. This, of course, is to run X unit at all. Then approval tests, which you need to run approval tests under X unit. And then approval test requires the approval utilities, which has some nice features, some of which you might want to use in your actual production code as well, which is why it's separated out. So now we'll go to our class, which I will rename to uh, simple approval test class and you do not decorate the class unlike other unit testing frameworks all you need is a method that is being decorated or a fact so normally here is where you'd say test or test method or something to that effect but here in XUnit is just declared as a fact so um, fact, say hello. Should say hello. So inside here is where we normally do something like assert and XUnit still uses this standard assert methodology. It just does an equal instead of R equal. One is equal to one. So here we have these dots that ReSharper is now using the plugin to use XUnit. And if I run this, you will see that it runs and passes. If I go back, we can now start changing this to use approval tests as our verification method. And to do that, I'll just simply say approvals.verify. And instead of a integer, which I would normally use in a cert for anyways, I'm gonna do something a little more complicated. In this case, just a simple string. Hello world. Wow, 
welcome to approval tests. All right. And with that done, I can give this a run. Now this will fail just as it is, so I still want to decorate it in a more meaningful way by using a use reporter. Now I can do this at the class or the method level, regardless of the fact that we no longer are decorating the class as a test. So I'm going to say use reporter and type of diff reporter. We'll go into how to use reporters and the different types in later videos. So now if I give this a run, you'll see that approval test uses a golden master paradigm. So over here is our master. And because we've never done anything with this, this master, of course, is empty. It has no idea what the appropriate response should be. Over here, we have what we actually received. We can actually look at it and say, yes, this is actually what we want. If we like it, we are then given the opportunity to move it over so that it is now the master. And I'll close and save that. Now that we have said this to go to the master, if they match and we run it again, it will pass and you'll notice there's no launching of the reporter on a successful run. However, like all Golden Master things, we can decide to change code later on. And if we run it again, it will now fail. It will pop up to use the reporter because it has failed. And you'll see over here again, here's the Golden Master. Here's what we've changed. It will highlight exactly where our change is. And we have two options. We can just say, no, this is what we really wanted. Please go back to the, to the correct solution. Or we can say, no, we've moved forward. This is now what we think is the correct solution, which is what I'm going to do right here. Now it's worth pointing out that approval tests, if you go to your solution, refresh and show all, uses two class files or two files that will be part of your source control. You're going to have simple approval test class. This is, of course, the class name. Dot should say hello. This is the method name. Dot approve dot text and dot received dot text. The reason I have both of these files is because it failed the last time I ran it, which we can see by the red bar. If we run it again, we can now go back, refresh it, and you will see only the approved file remains. You should be checking in your approved files. This is how it will work on other people's systems as well as yours in the future. However, you should never be checking in a received file that is only there because of a failure and it will get removed on success. Well, that's everything for using approvals in XUnit. Before I close here, I'd like to highlight Christoph, who is the person who actually ended up pairing with me to get XUnit in here. He actually is responsible to, for quite a lot of changes, did quite a lot of good in the two hours that we paired. He's out in Australia. Um, he's also responsible for finally shifting the name to approvals.verify from years of approvals that approve. You can hit him up on his blog over here at cosmic.pl. Also, if you have any questions about approval tests, simply tweet with the hashtag approval tests. I monitor that regularly and will answer you promptly.